Today, let's explore the largest map that survives from medieval Europe, the Hereford Mappa Mundi. Although its size, over five feet by four feet, all on one piece of parchment is exceptional. Its format is not. This medieval style of representing the world is called a T-O map. These maps conceptualize the world as a sphere. And the T-O map popular in Western Europe's Middle Ages aims to render what was then the known world. This schematic map depicts the Northern Hemisphere centered on Jerusalem, reflecting the dominance of Christianity for the original medieval makers and viewers of these maps. Likewise, on the Hereford map, we see Christ depicted at the top presiding over the world. And the four cardinal points are marked off with circles at the edge and key locales are also labeled or shown with the signature attributes such as the Mediterranean island of Crete, marked off with the labyrinth mentioned in classical myths. And I love the little mermaid swimming just above. Most scholars think this particular map was created in the 1290s. In the town of Lincoln, since Lincoln Cathedral's depiction is lavished with extra careful details. It's often referred to now, though, as the Hereford Mapamundi, or Map of the World, because for centuries it's been located in Hereford, England. In the later medieval period, aristocratic homes often had large maps on their walls. An inscription on the map asked the viewer to pray for Richard of Holdingham. But details are a little controversial about for whom it was made and how it ended up in Hereford. And you can read up on those discussions in the book cited at the end of this video. We're focusing today on some of the most interesting imagery on the map. Like in ancient texts, such as the Roman writer Pliny's Natural History, in which monstrous creatures are located just beyond the range of where anyone you know might have traveled. On the Hereford map of Mundi, the most distant realms are also inhabited by fictive beings. This elegant horned satyr, for instance, is situated in northern Egypt, likely because of the legends of the early Christian Saint Anthony, who was tempted by visions of satyrs and fauns. Notice the nude man riding the smiling crocodile just to the left on a Nile River scene. Four cave-dwelling creatures, or troglodytes, are also rendered in Africa and are described as, quote, very swift, they live in caves, eat snakes, and catch wild animals by jumping on them, end quote. The Blemies, as we see here on the Hereford map, were even described in the adventure tales about Alexander the Great that were popular from Western Europe through Mongolia in the Middle Ages. They're called the Alexander Romance in that form. Blemies were famed for being militaristic and lacking heads, having faces on their torsos. One writer likened them to, quote, lawyers who speak through their bellies, end quote. Thus, the Hereford map included both the familiar with its detailed depiction of the local cathedral in Lincoln and an exotic cast of creatures populating the edge of the world. You may have noticed too that this map of Mundi only shows areas of the world thought to be inhabited by the medieval English who created it, thus maintaining the focus on the Northern Hemisphere. While the Hereford map was made to be displayed, Many smaller, similar medieval map of Mundi were included as part of manuscripts. For example, the sprawling encyclopedic works of the medieval thinker Isidore of Seville. It's not for nothing, Isidore was deemed patron saint of the internet a few decades ago. Sometimes have a TO map, such as this 12th century example. Like the TO map we have been looking at in Hereford, England, this map from a manuscript made in northern France also shows strange creatures in southern Africa and the winds of the earth are marked out along the edge. We could go deeper too and consider topics such as how these medieval mapamundi tapped into ancient cartographic traditions, but that's a discussion for another time. 
It's worth exploring the fantastic interactive Hereford Mapamundi website to learn more, see how many other medieval monsters you can find. Also, while you're there, think about what were the meanings and purposes of these medieval maps. While today we might turn to an online map to find the quickest route somewhere, the medieval creators of these maps had nothing so prosaic in mind and were instead offering a kind of schema for understanding their universe.